There is no more perfect film than La La Land. Its infinite beauties are present in its stunning visuals, gorgeous soundtrack, and outstanding performances. But they're also tucked away in the little moments. The small looks filled with emotion, the beautifully authentic dialogue, the depth of the characters. La La Land is the most pure story of love but not in the way that you would normally think of a love story. More so in how it creates a romantic tone in every frame, musical note, and piece of dialogue, enchanting its viewers into a world that's hidden within your own, a world where fools are free to dream. Mia is an aspiring actress who loves filmmaking for the art rather than the glamour. She goes on countless auditions, which do little more than repeatedly disappoint her. No matter how captivating she is, she finds no luck. The casting directors disrespect Mia with the lack of attention they pay her. She compares herself to the other auditioners who look just like her. It's become a routine of Mia's to audition and expect the worst. But she still continues, tirelessly juggling her work as a barista and pursuing her true dream. We all know that the entertainment industry is more about who you know than what you know. Talent can take you far. Connections can take you further. Those around Mia tell her to look for someone in the crowd who can change her life and take her where she wants to go. To do whatever she needs to do until she's discovered. But Mia is conflicted. She's pressured to climb the social ladder in the way everyone else does, but she doesn't want to change who she is to be discovered. She's disinterested in self-interested or vapid conversations. She wants to be rewarded for her talent and hard work, not for conforming to a culture she detests. La La Land features a recurring theme of truly appreciating art. It's something that Mia and Sebastian have in common. Seb talks about jazz music with such powerful passion. His love for it single-handedly fuels his entire approach and outlook of life. He's never cared about being liked or how people see him because he has confidence in himself and what he wants to do. Seb chooses to see life in a romantic way, no matter how difficult his living conditions are. Struggling to get gigs, lost in a world forcing him to conform, constantly judged, he's tired of how uninspired the opportunities he can find are. He can't help but integrate his own imagination and work into what he does, just because he feels so strongly about the potential of music. Both Mia and Sebastian desperately want to accomplish their dreams. They just don't quite know how to get there yet. Together, they learn about the necessity of sacrifice in their journey to success. Great opportunities are hard to come by in the world of entertainment. Recognition is hard to come by. Money is hard to come by. So when Seb is offered a position in a band that will give him consistent work, he chooses to overlook the fact that he'll be playing music he doesn't quite care for and spending time with people he doesn't really like. At some point, you have to take what you can get. And though Seb's always been hopeful, he's not immune to the insecurities that come with going after such a competitive and risky career. His band becomes very successful, but Mia questions Seb for losing track of what his goals have always been. Stanley, why aren't we celebrating? Why aren't you starting your club? This starts an argument between the couple, but the conversation deeply resonates with Seb. He just doesn't realize it until later. La La Land describes how staying true to yourself and your goals can pay off even when things aren't working out at the moment. After being encouraged by Seb, Mia puts on her own one-woman show. It's an endeavor she puts her all into, but when she sees only a handful of people in the audience, she's absolutely heartbroken. Little does she know, amidst the few, there was a casting director who took great notice of Mia's talent. But at this point, Mia is at the brink of giving up. She actually refuses to go to the audition in fear of it breaking her further. I'm not going to that. What? That one's gonna be, no, that one's gonna be. I'm sorry? That will kill me. 
but Sebastian shows her some tough love and pushes her to go. Mia nails the audition by telling an authentic and moving story that wonderfully encapsulates the entire movie. Here's to the ones who dream foolish as they may seem. Here's to the hearts that ache. Here's to the mess we make. Those who dream are all too familiar with the fear, sadness, and struggle that comes with ambition. They know how their aspirations simultaneously bring about a swell of love and excitement, and also inflict hurtful heartache. The road to success is never painless, but if you have a goal you feel strongly about, you need to maintain courage and shamelessness. Dive in headfirst and have no regrets as you chase your passions. Because when you accomplish your goal, it'll all be worth it. Mia suppresses any hope for the audition's outcome, but Seb talks uncertainties. Because when you get this... If I get this... When you get this... You gotta give it everything you got. Everything. Even him and their relationship. And with that, Mia takes a big step towards success. By the end of the film, we see Mia return to the coffee shop she used to work at. A repeat of an earlier scene is shown, but now, Mia is the famous actress standing across from a starstruck barista. Mia is also now married to another man and has a child. She and her husband stumble across a jazz club. It's Seb's. He too accomplished his dream. And with one look at Seb, and just a few notes of the very song that had Mia entranced years ago, her mind is flooded with a world of what-ifs. She imagines what life could have looked like if everything was different. If she was still with Seb. If they had been able to find success together, rather than separately. But deep down, Mia and Sebastian understand that accomplishing their dreams required the hardest types of sacrifice. They'll always hold love and appreciation for each other, but their lives have taken them in separate directions, because that's really what La La Land is about. Self-belief and pushing forward, full steam ahead, no matter what.